Every county in Ohio now has a high transmission rate of COVID-19. That's according to the most recent data released from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Hamilton is the latest school district in the state to require masks with nearly 10% of the students now out of class in quarantine, 10%. David Winter at Garfield Middle School where nearly 40% of the students are not in school. Boy, David, when Kyle and I were hearing these numbers earlier, we were just gasping by like 1,800 students out. Unbelievable. Oh, it's astounding, Paula. Yeah, Garfield Middle School, perhaps worst off in the state. There are 770 students enrolled here. 290 of them are not in class. They are at home, quarantined, and there is no at-home school option for them. This district has... 9,000 students, only 80% of them are still in class. 20% are quarantined. These numbers are just astounding. We asked the school board about it, and they said they just had no idea that this virus would spread this quickly. We've already lost 20% of our football season. What's next? Homecoming? Prom? Graduation? In a special meeting called this morning, the superintendent laid out his reasoning for wanting to make masks mandatory indoors in all Hamilton City schools, and the board agreed. Mrs. Baker? Yes. Mr. Isger? Yes. The unanimous vote, a 180-degree turnaround from just three weeks ago when the board voted not to mandate masks. This was the board president that night. We are not going to penalize students one way or the other if they wear them or if they don't wear them. Why didn't you just require masks back then instead of having all these kids out of school? Well, we really hadn't been back in session yet to see what was going on. And in our community, we, we our, the feedback we were getting back from our community, as opposed to some other communities, was they did not want masks mandated. Now the board can see what's going on. 66 students are COVID positive, 868 quarantined. Compare that with nearby Lakota School District that did require masks from the start of the school year, nearly twice the size, half the infections, and a 95% attendance rate. We asked the Butler County Interim Health Commissioner about Hamilton's decision today to require masks. I think they made the right call to be mandating masks for their students. But did they make the call soon enough? I think that's a great question. I mean, obviously, in an ideal situation, it would have been at going into the school year. And we asked the commissioner about parents like this one. We need to move past this. We need to live our lives uh, and not be so uh, worried about a virus that's 99.7% recoverable. Hopefully, once they start seeing, just like what we're talking about, that kids who aren't masking, they're more likely to get sick, they're more likely to get positive, um, be to test positive for COVID-19. I'm hoping as they see that more and more, unfortunately, um, that maybe that will kind of change their mind. The board president says that he hopes that Hamilton schools can be part of a state pilot program that will use regular testing instead of quarantining after a student has been exposed to the virus. Paula? Mm, thank you, David. With well, a mass mandate, it goes into effect Wednesday for Hamilton City Schools.